Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. The Airbus A380 has flown in our skies now for years, with production first beginning in 2005. Issues plagued the type early on, which meant its entry into service would be delayed. However, since it entered into service, it has helped change the inside of aircraft forever. With the airlines that chose to fly the type being able to adjust their cabins, from showers to new state-of-the-art apartments, like what we've seen on Etihad Airways aircraft. However, all this came to a crashing halt in February of 2019, when Emirates announced that they had cancelled a significant part of their remaining Airbus A380s, which in conclusion meant that production would cease on the type in 2021. At the time, Emirates said it was moving forward with the A330neos and A350s instead of the remaining A380s that it ordered a year earlier. With 2021 rapidly approaching, the production on the A380 is quickly wrapping up, and in doing so, the final ever Airbus A380 to be produced rolled out a final assembly in France. While this is the final A380 to have been rolled out, they're not done as an aircraft just yet. There's still nine deliveries that need to be completed for the type with one for all Nippon Airways, and then the remaining eight will be going to, you guessed it, Emirates. A special event was held for employees of the aircraft manufacturer to help celebrate building the final A380 being MSN 272. This will be heading to Emirates, who have already at this point seen deliveries of 100 plus of the type. Talk has heavily surrounded the future of these aircraft within the airline, but the Emirates executives have said in recent weeks that they intend on keeping the aircraft through to the early 2030s, at the very least. This would mean that the type would likely be flying, in total, for around 25 years from start to finish by the time the final A380 is retired with Emirates. While that would be most definitely a good gig, it is hard to compare it to the Boeing 747 due to the change in climate, although a lot of people still will. As we know, the 747 flew for over 50 years and is an iconic jet. Albeit, you could easily say if the A380 was the one that launched 50 years ago, it'd probably be a totally different situation we would be in today. However, it's safe to say that when the A380 entered, things were already changing. We saw more airlines go for twin-engine jets, which saw the A380 be put out of favour. In addition, the point-to-point -point idea of it and the cost was a big off-put for many. It's not as simple as buying, say, an A320 or 737. This is why we also saw the 747-8 struggle in comparison to how the 747-400 did in previous decades. However, what cannot be forgotten with the A380 is the impact the type has had in its short spell within the industry. And at the end of the day, while it is a short spell, people will not forget the Airbus A380. Emirates have been long supporters of the aircraft. In fact, without them, the A380 program would not be the same in the slightest. While the A380 Plus seemingly came and went, a sequel never really looked likely. We also saw Airbus never act on Emirates' keen eye for a re-engine type that would be known as the A380neo, something they were willing to order, and something we've heard also in recent weeks that they believe still has a future within the industry. That though, I wouldn't be too sure on. Because whether or not an aircraft like the A380 has a future in general remains to be seen, especially in the coming decades as aircraft manufacturers move to different types of aircraft. If you have any thoughts or any memorable moments on board the Airbus A380, do not hesitate to drop them below. As always, thanks very much for the continued support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe and take care. <laughs>